Hi, my name's Paige. I'm nine years old and I'm in fourth grade. And guess what? I got COVID. We just thought um, there's no way that we have COVID. You know, you see it on the news, you hear about it. We've been really careful. There's no way we have it. Here's how it all started. My sister, Sophia, who's 12 years old, who is special. Her caretaker, um, who is following all the protocol <laughs> rules and all that. Sophia was exposed on Monday and nobody knew. Sophia, where she goes um, to her care facility, where she got exposed, um, they are so careful. Um, they wear masks, they clean. Um, everything is so careful. So we thought, no, even her pediatrician thought, no, you guys are fine. Just get tested just in case. Like we had no idea Sophia had COVID and like everything was normal. Like we got our flu shots, like we visited some people, like everything was normal. Fast forward to Saturday night, Sophia was not feeling well. This was not really surprising because sometimes she gets like an ear infection. So we just thought it was that. So Sunday, pretty much after that, Sophia had a low fever and uh, we just shut everything down. We like stopped visiting people. We wouldn't let anyone visit us. We didn't think anyone had COVID, but we just thought we were gonna be safe. So Sophia's pediatrician um, said that we should um, get Sophia tested just in case. Monday afternoon, she got tested. It was a whole week after she got exposed and we still had no idea. Monday night, we got a phone call and we realized she was exposed. Tuesday night, seven o'clock, I did not start feeling well. And I just felt like really cold. So I curled up on the couch. So I started feeling warm and I asked my mom for some medicine and I never asked for medicine. The minute I saw Paige on the couch not feeling well, um, her cheeks were pink, just laying there and she told me she wasn't feeling well and she needed medicine. I thought, oh goodness. Is it possible we can all have COVID? Mom and dad pretty much knew at that point, if I'm sick and Sophia's sick, we're all sick. Wednesday was my worst day. That day, it didn't really feel that well. I was just like laying on the couch pretty much the whole day. Um, I was a lot tired. Um, I was hot um, and I was a bit achy. Later in the afternoon, my mom made me up go outside, get on the patio, um, get some fresh air. Um, I ate some soup to um, help me get better and I drink a lot of juice. That night I did feel a little bit better, um, but then my parents weren't feeling well. But it was hard on Paige because she did, couldn't really understand. The rest of us were still sick and she was fine. Wednesday night, um, uh, Sophia's test results came back and they were positive and I was freaking out. Um, I was like really worried uh, um, about my family. I don't know if we're gonna live or we're gonna die. I was really worried at that time. And I told my mom, are we all gonna die? Because I was super scared. I think one of the hardest parts was when my daughter asked me, you know, am I gonna die, dad? My mom, dad, and myself had to all go over and get tested for COVID. The Thursday afternoon um, that day um, at two o'clock, um, me and my family went to go get tested. Hey guys, I'm gonna get tested for COVID. So let's see if I am negative or positive. I'm nervous because I don't know uh, if I'm gonna be negative or not negative. Someone in my family has it positive, so I kind of feel like I have it, so we'll find out. Gotta get my mask on because we're getting close to getting uh, me and my family tested. So, um,. Yeah, I gotta put my mask on to get tested. I'm on the mask in and we're uh, going in the place where I get tested. See you soon. This is fun some thought. All they did was stick a Q-tip in your mouth and um, up your nose, so it wasn't that bad actually, so yeah. We'll find out the results soon. So when I went to go get tested, uh, they kind of like stuck like a over large uh, Q-tip in my mouth, which kind of didn't feel well, um, and up my nose, so that um, didn't really feel well. I thought um, like the germs in here would go in the germs in here, so I didn't really 
No, I didn't do that. <laughs> Getting tested really wasn't too bad. It wasn't, it was quick and easy. Yep. And the weird thing about that part, I was feeling much better. Paige only had symptoms for 24 hours. Literally after the 24 hours, she was fine. The rest of us, not so much. You know, four or five days for Sophia, four or five days for myself as well. And I had it for almost nine days of uh, aches and pains. I had the worst of it. Yeah. I was like feeling normal. I was like playing with my dolls. I was like, you know, feeling normal. Two days later on Saturday, the test results came back and we had COVID. So we just got the test results. I am positive, which is not really good. Um, my mom has had her positive. My sister is positive. So my whole family is positive. Um, I'm feeling actually fine. My parents not really feeling well. My sister's not really feeling well. So yeah. Luckily, my sister Sophia was feeling a bit better um, because she was sick for five days. Mom and dad, they were sick longer. My dad was sick for eight days straight. We had a really good support system of doctors calling us daily and helping us, so I think that really helped. We all had different symptoms, but none of us actually really got it bad. You and I both have some lasting effects, but the yes. girls, especially Sophia, came out okay. Paige was a trooper. Our family was really lucky. It was really hard because I couldn't see anyone. Like I couldn't see my grandparents or we couldn't go to the grocery store. It was really hard. Just having our grandparents live literally right next door and around the corner and you can't go see them. Um, friends that we were quarantining with just, you know, um, spending a little bit of time with, nope, you can't see them. That was really hard on Paige. Um, it's hard for a nine-year-old to know that um, I, I'm not sick anymore, but you really you have to stay away from people. Another day of quarantined. I'm still quarantined since I have COVID along with my family. So yeah, I'm doing, I feel fine. My temperature is fine. I have COVID that one for some reason. So yeah, see you soon. Paige was definitely getting cabin fever. Um, she really was starting to go a little bonkers. Luckily we live out in the country. Um, so she could ride her bike around outside, um, but just literally, not being able to go anywhere was rough on her. It's another day. Um, I still can't believe I have COVID. Uh, this is uh, uh, kind of tiring. Uh, school online is okay. Um, it's getting better. I will say that. Getting more used to it. So yeah. The best part about this whole awful thing that everyone we came into contact with, thankfully, they did not get COVID. And we were able to contain it just to the four of us. Um, the hardest part, honestly, for me was not seeing my friends for 10 days. Because that was really hard because usually my friends come over. Especially with all our family living so close by, it was hard uh, not to see them for during the quarantine time. Hello, it's I'm another back. day. <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling way better. I feel a lot better. I don't feel like I have COVID anymore. But we managed and um, we eventually got better, which was good. Um, this whole experience of COVID, um, gotta say it was hard for each one of us and uh, just watching it on like the news was also pretty hard that my family got COVID too. Uh, thankfully, we're all doing better, and I hope this COVID ends soon. Everybody stay safe out there, wash your hands, and put a mask on while you're going out in public. Thanks for watching, and everybody stay safe out there.